Hi guys, just a quick update. So I'm going to go and spray paint the um, the Raptor nasal cavity. It's been a while since I've done an update on this one, but I've just got it suspended from a uh, like a kebab stick, um, and then there's a paper clip that's been taped to the bottom, and um, I've just put it in one of the holes and sort of made a hook, and uh, it means that there's minimal um, surface area contact with the resin, and uh, I can freely turn it and spray paint it evenly from all angles. And I'm going to be using this. So I'm going to be using uh, Plastacoat Matte Super, and I want it to be matte because I want it to look like a fossil. So I've just got this beige, and I was going to prime it, but I think actually probably just a couple coats of this will do the job. So I'm going to go out now, outside, and if you are doing spray painting of any kind, make sure the area is well ventilated, outside's best and uh, make sure you're wearing the right protective equipment and uh, get an adult to supervise. So here's how the Raptor's nasal cavity is looking after uh, a couple of sprays of cream paint and it's looking good, nice and even and uh, now it just needs weathering uh, and I'm going to be using some um, brown acrylic paint that's been watered down and then I'm going to sort of uh, rub it off so that it gathers in the uh, in the creases and the uh, the lines that you can see there and that should give it a nice weathered look and we're going to use lots of passes different shades of brown and try and get it as close to the film uh, used piece as possible and then uh, I'm going to need to apply uh, some form of um, clear coat uh, just to give it uh, a glossy look because the one in the film does look like it's uh, sort of slightly um, shiny so I'm going to try and imitate that as best I can. But it's coming along.